I'm here inside this huge indoor theme park. Obviously everything here is pretty red because that's the colour of Ferrari. And I'm just heading down to Formula Rossa now, the fastest roller coaster in the world, launches from 0 to 147 miles an hour. And it is practically a walk-on. And I'm still running two trains, as you can see. One of them is going with like six riders on it. So my first ride of the day on Formula Rossa, they're the fastest roller coaster in the world. And it's good. I wouldn't say it's anything spectacular. Now, the launch is fairly intense, as, you, as you'd expect, but I don't find it like any punchier than, say, stealth, for example. It has also developed a bit of a vibration. As you go at that speed, it's definitely, it's not what I would call a rattle, but it is definitely a kind of uh, feeling as you uh, traverse the track. Now you've got a few airtime hills in there. I wouldn't say they really give a lot. There is a fantastic head chopper as you come around one of the bends. The support feels like it's only about half a foot away from your head. And so even when you know you're not gonna hit it, you can't help but duck. Now one thing's also worth mentioning is that all riders, regardless of row, must wear goggles. I think it's to prevent any sand from going in your eyes. And if like me, you're wearing glasses, it really did pull them tight to my face. So I think future rides, I might take the glasses off just to make it a bit more comfortable because it was like, it was not the most comfortable experience in that regard. But there you go. It's the fastest roller coaster in the world. It's good to say you've done it. I actually did it back in 2019. I don't think my opinion has changed dramatically since then. For me, despite the speed and everything, it's maybe a seven out of 10 ride. It's sort of a B grade coaster. Um, and part of that is just down to its age as well, I think. It is those old style Intamin trains. So while it does have lap bars, you're still very kind of crushed in. There's not a lot of room. I'm gonna go get a couple more rides because it was basically walk on. I was ushered straight into a row. So that was quite good. So I just had a second ride on Formula Rossa, that time at the back. So I can confirm that removing my glasses did make it a far more comfortable experience in that regard. However, on the back, that really vibrates. It is just like sitting on a washing machine. Now, I think that's probably a combination of the sheer speed, the fact that uh, it has maybe worn a little bit over the last decade or so that it's been open, but also just the sheer wind resistance you're facing at that speed, because it's not like it's a dead, unsettled day out here. There's like wind and sand swirling around all over the place. So you're kind of meeting a lot of different forces coming at you all at once. So it's a decent ride, but it is, it's there just to hold the world record.